Hey everyone, Jenna here. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own Wi-Fi jammer within eight dollars. So first, you need to buy this ESP8266. The link for this will be given in the description box below. And this is a development board, so be sure to buy the correct one, like this in black color. And then you need to have a power bank or a USB to micro USB cable to power this device. And that being said, let's get straight into the video. So first you need to download these two files, Arduino application and Wi-Fi jammer folder. Link for these two will be given in the description box below. Open the Wi-Fi jammer and then go into the Wi-Fi jammer folder. Open the board url.txt file. Open it and then copy this link in the top. Now copy it and then open the Arduino application file installation is simple just click ok ok and then finish it so now go to file or press ctrl plus comma go to preferences and then in the additional boards manager url space the link that you copied after pasting it click on ok so now go to tools and then go to board go to boards manager option the boards manager option it will take some time to download first some things then after downloading this click on ESP as I mean type on type as ESP and this is the package that you need to install to make your board working now click on this and from the drop down bo drop down box select 2.0.0 don't select neither any other versions just select this and click on install this may take some time as the file size will be 150 MB approximately so wait for it to finish so after finishing it just close that and then now open Wi-Fi jammer again now copy these four codes of line from the text pad notepad and then go to Arduino click on file preferences and then click on the link that is below additional boards manager url this will open a file go to packages now go to packages esp8266 hardware again esp8266 2.0.0 now go to tools sdk include and this folder is where you have to make the changes now open user interface dot h with wordpad not notepad it's wordpad and then go deep down go at last before in diff make a space and then in between paste the four lines that you copied so before pasting this you have to close arduino application now after pasting it just click on save and then close so as i didn't close arduino so let's verify first whether it's pasted or not and if you go down you can see the four codes code and now since i didn't close arduino i'll close it now and then again i'll paste it and i'll paste and save that four lines of code in that user interface dot h so after pasting that Click on save and then again close the wordpad window. So close it now and then go to again Wi-Fi jammer. And then click on the Wi-Fi jammer master, Wi-Fi jammer now and again Wi-Fi jammer. Now click on ESP8266 deauthor master, deauthor and now run this file this is now this is the code that you need to penetrate into the a266 esp now coming into this go to first these are the codes that you need to put on your esp266 go to tools boards and then select the node mcu 0.9 esp e2 module after selecting it go to programmer and then select arduino isp not dot org 
only Arduino ISP. After selecting that, now you can upload it by clicking the upload button on the top left corner. And it will say compiling sketch and you will be seeing some errors like that it cannot install, it cannot open port like that something. And let's wait for it. See what are all the errors that I get. See, these are the errors. After changing the boards also, it will say that same errors are being occurring. No need to worry guys, I'll at least tell you how to solve this error. So wait out and watch for these errors. See I changed many options even though it's not installing the code in the ESP8266. So before doing this you have to connect your ESP8266 board to the computer. And now after doing this to change this solve this error, just go to tools and port and change the COM3 to COM4 or whatever try different ports option as you guys can see that now it's been successfully installing the lines will come it will take some time approximately 2 to 3 minutes now wait for it after finishing it will say script has been written successfully it's now uploading and yeah then it's, it will say done uploading so now after this you have to go to again to tools see it's saying done uploading now again go to tools and then go to board and then select node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module now after doing this you can now close this window and unplug your chipset from the computer you have to power it on by using any charger or that so I now connect again the chip to my computer itself to power it on. After doing this, the left side, my MF4 is, will be now connected to my home network. And then my OnePlus 3 I will connect to the Android AP. That is the name of the Wi-Fi jammer. I gave you can change it. Change it while uploading the code. So after connecting it, go to the web browser. And then type as I type 192.168.4.1. Now click on it and you'll be welcomed with the menu screen. And now here now I'll connect to my home network. This is my home network. It'll take some time to connect. To connect. So you can see. It'll now connect. It's asking for a password. Wait a second, I'll put on my password. See, that's there you go, it's connected now. And the device that's controlled by, to use to control that, is by double six. Press on scan, it will scan for the networks present in that room. As you can see, it's scanning, it scanned my home network. Now I'll click on select, select this my home network. SSL ID name is my name and now go to attack and I'll press on dearth all which means it will kick out all the users from that network so you guys can see the from that connected it changed it to save even though if I click on it and then press connect it won't see guys from connected it went to save and even though if I click on connect it won't connect so this is how the Wi-Fi jammer works. It's very simple. It will be kicked out in some minutes. So next thing is I'll show if I stop. See it's been kicked out. See from connected it's gone to save. It won't let the user to connect to that Wi-Fi. So I stop and then connect it will connect. So the next thing is I'll show what beacon spam and random beacon spam is see it's connected now after i stopped the dear all so what is beacon spam and random beacon spam so if i click on that beacon spam it will create wi-fi networks same as the ssid's name that we chose from that apn's name and now as you can see there is same ssid name with that of my home network and if I click on anything, it will only ask for password. Random beacon spam is means without 
ஐ மீன் இன்ஸ்டட் ஆஃப் மை ஓன் ஒய்ஃபை நெட்ஒர்க் டில் ஷோ அதர் ஒய்ஃபை நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் ஸ்பேன் மோ நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் தட் யூ கான் கனெக்ட் அண்ட் யூஸ் ஒய்ஃபை ஃபார் அண்ட் யூஸ் இன்டர்நெட் ஃப்ரம் தட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் இட் காய்ஸ் தட்ஸ் இட் ஃபார் திஸ் வீடியோ காய்ஸ் ஓப் யூ காய்ஸ் என்ஜாய் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் வார்னிங் ஃபார் ஜஸ்ட் வார்னிங் ஐ எம் நாட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஃபார் எனி திங்ஸ் தட் யூ டூ வித் திஸ் மெத்தட் ஆர் வித் திஸ் டிவைசஸ் அண்ட் ஐ எம் நாட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஃபார் இஃப் எனி திங் கெட்ஸ் ப்ரோக்கன் லைக் யுவர் ஒய்ஃபை டஸ் நாட் ஒர்க் நத்திங் வில் ஹேப்பன் இன் கேஸ் இட் தட் டஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் தேங்க்யூ காய்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் வாட